What you doing? I've started a letter writing campaign to protest the possible cancellation of Miss Sally's schoolyard. This one's signed by Stanton. Yeah, he's a good guy, that Stanton. Stanton's in solitary. All right, so I fudged a few. Wangler, out of BC. Groves, Groves? Okay, I fudged them all. None of those yurds out there would rally for the cause. You want to write one? No offense, but the only thing I want renewed is my grandson's chance to beat his leukemia. Right, sorry. W what's the latest on his condition? You got to pay to play. There's a cure to be found, but it'll cost, and I still haven't figured out a way to raise the money. Next up is Whitney Allen, star of Miss Sally's Schoolyard, to tell us about next week's Mighty Ball drawing. Whitney? Hi, Warren. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thanks for dropping by. Who are all these numb nuts that play the lottery? I played the lottery. Me too. Like I said, numb nuts. Out of 51 numbers, you gotta pick the right number, not once, but six times in a row. I say it is possible to win. Jesus Christ, Bruce Moss, you'd have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Approximately 1,000 people a year win a million dollars or more North American lotteries. In contrast, less than 100 people a year hit by lightning. A million dollars. So don't forget to play, because the winner might just be you. Excuse me, Officer Brass. Yeah. Bob Ribido. You've always seemed like a sympathetic fellow to me. What do you want? I want you to purchase a lottery ticket for me. The jackpot is $2 million. I'll cut you in. Cut me in on what? The prize money. <laughs> what in the world makes you think you're going to win? God told me. These are the winning numbers. deal with this guy, Bob Ribido. Uh, nothing. Why, is he giving you trouble? No. Uh, I just thought the guy might be psychotic. At dinner, he starts telling me God speaks to him. Oh, yeah, he's had an ongoing tete-a-tete -tete with the Almighty for some time now. Actually, he's relatively stable. First time I've touched one of these since, uh, my Achilles got cut. That's a perfect fucking ball, man. Gummy, beat up, give you mad handle. This ball will make you Pete Maravich. Oh, Jesus. Pistol Pete. The greatest scorer in the history of college ball. When he was growing up, he used to carry a ball with him at all times, no matter what. In school, on a date, didn't matter. He'd even go to bed with a basketball, like a marriage. So I started doing it. I quit sleeping with it when I got to college, but other than that... Come on, man. You want to shoot? Shoot. It's all right. Come on, I can stick around for a while. I got to go. Got to make an extra stop on my way home. I got to buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. Well, another night then. We'll stay late. We'll shoot around. You know how Pete Maravich died? Playing basketball. Been retired eight years. Was out running in a pickup game. Heart attack. Up and down the court one minute. Falling over dead the next. Till death do us part. He's able to live that. Literally. But I won't be able to. So stop fucking asking me to shoot around with you. All right? You sent 200 letters to the station protesting the cancellation of Miss Sally's schoolyard. I wanted the programmers to see there's a groundswell of support, a grassroots demand for the show to continue. All from the same address? We just got this letter from the station manager today. Thank you for writing, Baba. The exceptional education varied of the program, Baba. Unfortunately, Miss Sally's schoolyard has ceased production. Ah, I'm gonna miss Miss Sally. Wait, I'm happy to announce Whitney Allen will be appearing in a new exercise series called Sally Sides. We hope you enjoy it. Sincerely, Blah. I wonder if my Norma will have a job on the new show. Still haven't heard from her, huh? No, but I live in expectation. Did you get a hold of your son? Yes. And? And there is no end. But, Bob, did you tell him you plan to win the lottery? That you're going to use the money to save Alex Jr. from the leukemia? No. And isn't that why you phoned him? Midway, I decided I shouldn't get the family's hopes up. You're starting to doubt you picked the winning numbers. Of course not. 
My concern is I don't know whether Officer Brass actually bought the ticket for me. Officer Brass? Officer Brass? Officer Brass! What? What is it, Rebido? Did you buy my Mighty Ball ticket? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking Friday. Fucking Friday? Yeah, you think I'd be happy with the weekend coming and all? Working in Oz, I never feel more fucked than on Friday. Hmm, payday. I don't know if I'd call it pay. Man makes a dog shit wage. Money none of those cocksucking congressmen would work for, huh? Ray, you gotta laugh. Follow pro basketball. Huh? Basketball? Yeah. Who do you think the worst player in the NBA is? Some white guy? Actually, maybe two or three white guys battling for the honor. Yeah, that's gotta piss you off, right? Seeing some of these Jags play pro ball, knowing you're better than most of them. Why would that piss me off? You know how goddamn good you gotta be in order to be the worst player in the NBA? You gotta be phenomenal. No, I realized that. I was My just saying. My point was that even the worst player in the NBA still makes league minimum. $330,000 a year. Wow. You take away what the government gets, your agent's 4%. Worst case scenario, you still got 160. Fuck it, 150. Even 140. Say you wanna jerk off with 10 of it. That's $140,000 cash. In pocket. Hey, Dave, man, I didn't mean to get you all riled up. Hey, it's not you. It's fucking Friday. Today's numbers will be randomly selected from 51 numbered balls out of our lotto draw hopper. So everybody, get it out and get it ready, because it's time to play Mighty Ball. If your number is drawn, you could be the lucky winner of $2 million. The first number is... Seven. Seven. Bob, that's a match. The second number is... Ten. That's two. Three. The fourth number is... Forty-nine. Four for four. The fifth number is 30. And the final number and the winner of two million dollars is 51. Motherfucker, you gotta be fucking fucking me. Yeah! Jesus Christ, I fucking won! Must have been saying to himself, fuck you, Reba Dow. And I'll tell you, if it was one of the other things in this joint and I was brass, I would have ripped him off too. But to do it to a guy like Reba Dow, you know, he's got a dying grandson, not throw him a bone. I mean, that's dead of winter cold. Brass was a good guy. Obviously not that good of a guy. When we played basketball against Vayu, I got to know him. He was the most standoff, do right by you person I ever met. Well, I guess that's what two mil can do to a fella. No, it wasn't the money. He felt fucked over. I mean, he had a big pair of gigantic NBA tits in his face, and we say to him, no, 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 you work in Oz, you get to get your Achilles tendon slashed for no good reason except McManus can't keep his fucking mouth shut. You gonna blame yourself for what happened to Brass forever? Yeah. Dave Brass came to Oz and filled out an application. Nobody forced him to do that, right? Got his leg fucked up. That sucks, but this is a maximum security prison. The poor guy got piss and shit thrown at him. He could get AIDS. That'd be a lot worse than being a goddamn gimp. But you know what? He filled out an application. Tim, every night, I get down on my knees and pray to God I don't get shanked when I come to work. 
But what if it happens? I mean, what if one of these fucking animals ends up buttfucking me? You gonna blame yourself because you brought me into Oz? Because if you did, you'd be a goddamn idiot. I filled out an application. See what? He's gone. You, your, your grandson was stable. But the uh, storm... Uh, well, the electricity went out for a minute. And uh, the surge scrambled his equipment. And? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Alex died. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Thirty-some years ago, it was a power outage that saved me from execution. But last night, the electricity finally came back on to finish the job. Except so much time had passed that my grandson was now in the chair. hat but now that he's passed away I understand this hat this was my grandson at his most alive so I'm gonna let Reba go to the funeral Jesus for 35 years he gets out twice in one week and all for the worst reasons Holy shit. I'm back. I decided to give Ribido his money. I decided he should help his grandkid. <laughs> 